Hello friends, this video on respiration in plants part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at the next step that is pyruvate oxidation. Now pyruvate and pyruvic acid they are the same thing. So pyruvate is basically nothing but the product which was formed as a result of glycolysis. So this pyruvate will get oxidized in this state. So how is it getting oxidized? Let us have a quick look. So this occurs in the matrix of mitochondria. Now to be more precise when you talk about mitochondria, this is the outer membrane of mitochondria. This is a double membrane structure. This is the inner membrane. The folded membrane is the inner membrane. And the space between the two membranes is the intermembrane space. So this is intermembrane space. And this fluid-like structure inside the inner membrane that is the matrix. So this is matrix. Clear? So now this process of pyruvate oxidation will take place inside the matrix. So here oxidative decarboxylation will occur. Oxidative that means oxidation will also take place at the same time decarboxylation. What is decarboxylation? Removal of carbon dioxide is called decarboxylation. So the enzyme which is involved in this step is pyruvate dehydrogenase. Now dehydrogenase again, whenever dehydrogenase is there, it will cause oxidation. And the products which are formed as a result of this step is acetyl coenzyme A, carbon dioxide and NADH. So these are the products which will be formed as a result of this step. Now let us see exactly what happens. So this is pyruvic acid. So pyruvic acid is a 3 carbon compound C3H4O3. So it is a 3 carbon compound. Now this pyruvic acid is acted upon by many enzymes not only pyruvate dehydrogenase it is also acted upon by a coenzyme A and NAD plus which acts as the oxidizing agent and this results in the formation of acetyl coenzyme A. So basically what happens is the acetyl group of the carbox, uh, pyruvic acid will join with coenzyme A. Since decarboxylation will happen, so carbon dioxide will be released. So one carbon is removed from pyruvic acid. So it is sure that now you will be left with a two carbon compound. So what is that two carbon compound? The remaining of pyruvic acid will combine with coenzyme A to form acetyl coenzyme A plus carbon dioxide plus this NAD plus will take up the electrons to form NADH plus H plus. Right? So this 3 carbon compound for, got converted into a 2 carbon compound and carbon dioxide. And this carbon dioxide which is formed in this step is the one which we exhale. Like in case of human beings, we exhale carbon dioxide, right? So that carbon dioxide is actually formed during this step. And the acetyl coenzyme A is the main product of this step. And this acetyl coenzyme A will enter into the next step that is Krebs cycle. So this will get into the Krebs cycle and this CO2 is the one which is exhaled. And this NADH, again being energy rich molecules, they will be utilized for ATP synthesis. So now if you talk about the final conclusion of the pyruvate oxidation, so what exactly is formed in this step? Here, in this case, acetyl coenzyme A is formed and NADH is also formed. Now, since we had two molecules of pyruvic acid, so this step is for one molecule of pyruvic acid. Since we had two molecules of pyruvic acid, therefore this step will repeat, get repeated for two times. So the result will be two acetyl coenzyme A will be formed, two molecules of acetyl coenzyme A and two molecules of NADH will be formed. So this would be the final product. Now I'm not considering CO2 because CO2 will be exhaled. But these will be utilized in the later steps of respiration. 
right? So now if you see one thing, when we started our discussion on respiration, we started with glucose, which was a six carbon compound. But now we have arrived at a compound, acetyl coenzyme A, which is a two carbon compound. So you see gradually the glucose is getting oxidized right and you will see that in the later steps this two carbon compound will gradually get decarboxylated multiple number of times and finally it will give only CO2. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.